Hello world, welcome to CodingScientist.com. We are on project number 12 with just about four lines of code. I am going to talk about multi input loop. So what exactly it is the input functions, right? So let me just share you the IDE is just about four lines of code and maybe you can guess what exactly it does. It looks very simple, but it does pretty funny things. For example, the input function of Python help us to give a user input while you know writing a python program but how to take multiple user inputs in the terminal most important it's we are not talking about gui we are talking about terminal in this particular line of code four lines of code basically that's what it's going to do so for example if you are prompted to write a python program that interacts with a user in a console window or a terminal which is which is terminal right you may be accepting input to send to the database at the back end or reading numbers to use any kind of calculation. So that is where the logic comes into picture. But whatever the purpose, you should actually code a loop that reads one or multiple user inputs from a user typing on the keyboard, physically on the keyboard. And that has the print, it has to print the result for each of the lines what you input. In other words, you have to write a classic print loop program, right? So that's what this is basically. Now let's see how to solve the, this particular problem statement by taking multiple inputs using Python using a while loop. So here I'm just using a very simple while loop. In Python, the standard code for such an interactive loop might look like this, exactly what you're seeing on the screen, right? The code basically leverages the Python while loop and Python's most general loop statement, right? It's, it's very commonly used while loop, either not only in Python, but even in uh, C, C++ and a couple of other programming languages. The built-in input function is used here for general console input, right? So it prints its optional argument string as a prompt and returns the response entered by the user as a string. So it can be string or even as a numerical value, it doesn't make you know any uh, difference. A single line if statement that uses the special rule for nested blocks, which is again into the nested loop, right? It's a block of loop, which appears here. That's what you can see, right? Finally, the Python break statement is used to exit out of the while loop statement immediately as soon as the loop ends. So it's a simple logic guys, but you know, you can do a ton load of things with this particular four lines of code you can play around. Let me run this code quickly and see what it does. All right, enter a text. Text. So what do we enter? You can say anything. Hello, it will return as hello. Coding, coding scientist. It says coding scientist. Iron man, it will say iron man. It will say, let me type Thor, it'll type Thor, Spider-Man, it'll say Spider-Man, you know, it keeps repeating the same thing. It's, it's a never ending uh, thing, right? Now, just think about how you are going to apply this logic in your couple of other programs, which I showed you in the previous eight, 10 lessons, right? You can use this logic in multiple ways, guys, just about four lines, just imagine by giving a stop command, it will end the entire loop. And we can also initiate with if, after this while you can put a if and continue with multiple if statements, right? So you can do a ton loads of things, think over it and come back with your ideas. I'll be glad to help you with many more such projects. Do leave me a message or do email me. I'll be happy to help you. Goodbye.